What's up everybody? This is Chris from PC Addicts and um, this video and a series of videos following this is going to be on doing some basic server stuff. Um, setting up domain controller, um, joining a client PC or two to the domain and uh, setting up DNS, DHCP, Active Directory, all that stuff. So it was requested by a couple people and quite frankly I've been wanting to do this for quite some time. Um, just never really got around to it. Had some other videos I wanted to do. Whatever. So um, without any further ado, this, this first video is going to be mainly on setting up Active Directory. Basically setting up a domain controller. I'm doing this in a virtual environment. Um, I think the videos are just a little bit better quality for for people uh, rather than trying to use the HD camera on a screen so we're gonna do this in a virtual environment I'm using VirtualBox um, running on my Windows 7 machine I have already installed Windows Server 2008 64 bit this is a um, trial I think it's good for 180 days it's you can download it um, as well just search Google for Windows Server 2008 trial if you wanted to get started with messing around with this stuff. Um, so I've already installed this, uh, I don't know, a week ago, and um, I think I ran all the updates, or maybe a few more, but I, I think I went ahead and ran the updates. But basically what, if you haven't messed with any of the Windows servers before, or even at least the 2008 R2 edition, um, right after the install, this window pops up here. It's kind of nice. Um, when I first started using 2008, I kind of just closed this out because I didn't. Uh, I'm used to the the older versions where um, it doesn't really walk you through all this stuff. So essentially, they want you to activate, and this one does say activated um, because you have to activate the trial license. You set your time zone. Uh, I believe. Let's go ahead and go through this. All right. So we're gonna set the time zone. Of course, this is a lot of this stuff is basic stuff. Um, it's already correct. I'm, we're in the correct time zone, so I think I already did that. Configure networking. All right, so here is where you're going to want to set up a static IP. And I don't believe I did this already, so let's see. All right, so before you do anything, set yourself a static IP. Uh, most of you out there probably know what this is, so I'm not going to explain it. Um, just, well, I guess I will. Just so that the server doesn't ever get a different IP address, because you don't want servers to get different IP addresses. So uh, first, let's find out what kind of scheme we're on right now. I'm running two virtual machines at the moment, so my system's not super fast, and I'm recording it. So um, we're going to just open up command line, do IP config. We're at a 102215. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and keep this address. All right. So let's go ahead and leave that there. We're going to go over here. Oops. All right. How about there? There we go. So we're going to do 10.0.2.15. Oops. And 255, we want to do a class C just to keep it the same. Default gateway is 10.0.2.2. Now, for a preferred DNS, what we're going to end up doing is putting this server's IP address in there. Um, and, and I'll get to that later on, either in another video or whatnot. So um, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and, for now, let's go ahead and do, um, let's see what it is. I think it's my host machine. Oops. IP config. Space. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's 192.168.2.10. That's this is my server down in the basement, uh, not in a, not in this virtual environment. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, add those two in there, just just to keep things working now. To that um, ten and five. All right. Hit OK and OK, and we should be good. Let's just double check that. Dun, 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 dun. All right, auto uh, DHCP enabled. No, all right, so we're good. Okay, so provide a computer name and domain. So let's do that, shall we? Um, right now, you can see the computer name was just the default computer name set up, and it's not a member of a domain. Of course, we're going to make this the domain controller, so we're not going to really join this to a domain now. We are going to just give this thing a computer uh, server name. So let's call this um, server dash one in case we end up doing adding some more servers later on in future videos 
we're not going to make it a member of a domain because we don't have a domain set up yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going to hit OK. Dun, 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 dun. We must restart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll restart here. Okay, we are back here. It's already restarted. Um, oh, forgot. Okay. All right. So now we're back up. So the window, that one window, should pop back up. The little kind of wizard step-by-step -step what to do with the server blah 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 there we go initial configuration all right so we did the provide computer information update the server enable automatic updating and feedback well I already did that I already installed updates yeah, yeah so well, it says not configured but who cares at the moment this is just for testing I don't want it downloading all the updates at the moment while I'm doing this so customize the server this is where we're gonna add roles Okay, and that's just a default page. All right, here's where we're gonna say, all right, what do we want to, what do we want to install? What do we want this server to do? And for the main part, we're just gonna be doing um, Active Directory Domain Services. Okay, and you can uh, install. Let's require blah, 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 features. All right, well, let's add that to it. Now. You could do a DNS server here because in order to run Active Directory Domain Services, you have to be running a DNS server. Um, since this is going to be the one and only domain controller here, um, we will need to install that. So, but during this install, I believe it's going to ask us if we want to install that and it'll kick off the install. So I'm just going to leave that alone. We just want to set up Active Directory Domain Services, basically to be able to create user accounts, um, uh, groups and group policies and all that stuff. So let's just do that. And I think do, 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 I think that's it for now. Yeah, we'll mess around with the other stuff later. So let's hit next um, to ensure. Blah, 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 blah. It says a bunch of stuff that you can read later. All right, the server might need to be restarted after installation. After you install 80 roles, use after you see promo. Um, fully functional domain controller. I believe with 2008 we don't have to do this. I think it's going to do it on its own. Um, We'll see. And also, it's going to install that. So, let's see here. <clears throat> I think I'm just going to pause it during some of this stuff, unless it's going to finish pretty quickly. It looks like it's going, 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 going. Okay, I'm going to pop. Okay, we're back and we're done. Uh, all right, just give us one warning about uh, make sure you have automatic updates enabled. Um, all right, so Active Directory Domain Services installed completely. Uh, are completed in the .NET framework. All right, so let's close it. It's been a while since I set one of these up, so it's kind of a refresher as well. Now, if we go into administrative templates, now I should have showed you this before, but before we didn't have all this Active Directory stuff here. Okay. So what we want to do now is we could, like here, install features, different features. Um, enable remote desktop which this we typically would want to do because for the most part with servers like my server is down in my basement I remote in anytime I need to uh, need to uh, access it in which I really don't need to access it much anymore and I'll show you how to how to do that as well do everything from your main computer and not have to actually remote in or anything so okay we're just gonna allow connections um, and we shouldn't have to select users we should be fine and configure f firewall but that's pretty much it with this um, we just set up or we installed the Active Directory stuff so now we need to go in there and configure it oh you know what look at that it didn't set up DNS aha alright so we definitely need to set up DNS so let's get in here now the server manager will start popping up as well what we want to do is, and you can actually do almost everything you need to through this. It took me a while to get used to it because I'm used to just going into each MMC by itself. But um, for the most part here, let's go ahead and roles. We click on roles. We can add a role. See, it shows it's not running. 
because probably because we need to do the DNA, so we need to figure finish setting it up. So let's add rolls. And next, let's do DNS. You cannot use. Oh, that's right. Okay, DC promo. So we, I guess we do need to run that, and that by itself will install and configure DNS. All right. So what we're gonna do is let's just go ahead and close this for now. We can get to it later. Let's go ahead and run DC promo. Oops. Promo.exe. All right. Now this is kind of a time-consuming process, if I remember correctly. Welcome to use advanced mode. We're not going to use advanced. Let's just let's just try to go with the basics. Uh, just talking about if you have other stuff that I don't know. All right, existing forest. We're going to create a new domain because this is all a brand new setup. Um, all right, have the fully qualified domain name. All right, so this one, let's call this. Um, typically, with with stuff like this, we're going to end it in dot local. To distinguish it between a, a local domain or a uh, out there public domain, so let's just say uh, test. Uh, let's call this something cool like cool dot local. There we go. And hit that. It's not gonna find it. My cat's in the background chewing on boxes. That's what you're hearing. All right, forest functional level. All right, what we're going to do is we're just going to go. This is all brand new. But we're going to be running Windows 7 stuff. You can read through all the details later. So, Of course, you don't got to follow me step by step if you're trying to set this up. Read through all the stuff. Set up what, what's best for your environment. Uh, select additional options. for. Okay, yep, here's where it's going to say, all right, go ahead and do DNS. All right, we're going to install that. Delegation for this DNS can be You want to bump up the ball and Yeah, let's continue. Okay, now here you can read like Microsoft's best practices for placing this stuff on different partitions and whatnot, but we're just gonna accept defaults here. Next. Um, Alright, so here you're gonna want if you ever need to do a directory restore, it's gonna ask you for a password. I'm just gonna put um, Password, whatever password. Just remember it though. Oh, it does not. Oh, you gotta be com complex. That's another thing with uh, Server 2008. They raise the complexity requirements for passwords. Next. All right, we don't want to export or anything. Let's just hit next. And this is gonna take a little bit of time, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause. We're still in the middle of uh, this installation here. Thought I would just jump in setting up everything still and again this is just kind of a basic setup um, you know I've never been to school in this stuff I'm all self-taught just reading up and testing and practicing and different environments uh, as I've been working out in the work field uh, workforce or whatever but um, you know everybody has their own way of doing things um, and if you guys have tips and everything where you've set stuff up and you like stuff set up differently and do it differently please Put it down in the comments below. Uh, we're all about sharing knowledge here, so. All right, pausing it. Okay, uh, we're done. And um, let's go ahead and hit finish. It's going to want to restart and restart. Pausing. Uh, it's funny, huh? Why am I giving you step by step play or play by play on pausing? But I am. Here you go. Pause. Just something I thought about during this reboot as well. Um, I need to fix that DNS entry on our Nick card, our Nick here, so uh, let's see. Yeah. Alright, so right now, as you can see, this is disting distinguishes whether or not you're going to log on to the domain or the local computer, the local server. Um, that confuses a lot of people at the beginning, so make sure that you have the domain name there, backslash, and then administrator, you know, since we don't have any user account set up yet. If you need to log in locally, not to the domain, then put the computer name there, backslash and then whatever the computer user was that you were using so all right we're gonna go ahead and log in here and it's gonna take a minute for setting it up okay um, I do notice a little yellow thing here and it's probably has something to do with the DNS so let's go in here we can go to let's just use a quick link there let's go ahead and switch this now because this is going to be our DNS server we want to 
Oh, it already switched it for us. So that's good. Okay, that's probably just something to do with internet access. All right, cool. I'm not too worried about that at the moment. Uh, we're not looking to get out at the moment. So my cat's over there making her noises. That's kind of funny. But um, yes, so when you set up a DNS server, it's pointing to itself uh, to resolve, which is what we want. All the computers within this domain are going to be set to use this server's IP address as their DNS server. And we'll get into that later in, a, in the next video probably. So. Um, but for in this video, I just wanted to kind of go over setting up a domain controller um, and it, that includes DNS and Active Directory and whatnot. So um, later videos we will show how to configure DNS and it, it's pretty much configured now, but there's some settings in here we can do and whatnot. So that and then also we're going to definitely want to do Active Directory users and computers to set up our users and everything. So right now all we have is set up is our administrator account, which is a domain admin. This one we don't really want to use too much. What typically I like to do, and, and some people do it this way, some people don't, is create another user account and make it the domain admin as well, part of a domain admin group. That way we kind of reserve the administrator account for other purposes and everything. So so there you go. We have a domain controller um, set up. And what next video is going probably going to be joining this computer, which is a Windows 7 computer, to the domain. Um, and then we'll get into the DNS stuff and Active Directory and all that. 